My name is Mike Posner, and this is my most requested live Ask Anything chat. You guys have sent in questions from all over the land, and now I'm going to attempt to answer them. I just got off stage in Washington, D.C., in the back of my tour bus, riding to Ohio. Shouts to Romeo, can't forget. First question, Sarah from Fort Worth. What is the best advice you've ever received? I don't know if I have an answer to that one. Uh, I sort of piecemeal my advice from, from people that I respect, but there's no one that I, there's no one or no one sentence that I, that I live by. Life's a little more complicated than that. Blurred lines in absurd times. Kathy from Spanaway. I just wanted to say that you're awesome. Not a question, but much appreciated. I've never heard of Spanaway before. Jamal from Toronto. Did you expect I took a pill in Ibiza to become a success on the charts? No. I was talking about drugs in the first line in the title, so I didn't really think they would play it on the radio, but they do. And, uh... You know, an artist's job is to is to just do what they hear in their head, and that's what I do. And every once in a while, I'm lucky enough that um, songs uh, become popular, and it pays uh, the bills. Alan from Niles, how did you come up with "I Took a Pill in a Visa" and what inspired you to be a singer? Uh, I don't feel like I come up with the songs; they just pop in my head, and then I write them down. What inspired you to be a singer? Um, I liked rap music a lot growing up. I was a rapper longer than I've been a singer from age 8 to age 20 and I thought it'd be cool if someone sang the way a rapper would want to hear them sing. And so that's kind of what I do. Put a lot of hip hop into my scene. Cruise from Clear Lake. What is your most memorable show you have performed and why? That's a trick question, man. Um, I remember pretty much every show I've ever played. And uh, there is no, there is no favorite. You know, it's like asking me my favorite song. There's, there's no one. Sorry. Alistair from Orlando. Would you like to collaborate with any grime acts? Yeah. Taylor from Toledo. What was your favorite class in high school? Mm. AP Literature. Um, Miss Mundy, class. Changed my life. She taught us how to really read. We read uh, Virginia Woolf. We read um, James Joyce. Um, and we used to call it the brain trust of our high school because people had already gotten into college. And so it was just the people that wanted to really, really learn. And uh, I didn't raise my hand for two months because everything everyone said in that class was, was so profound. So, uh, that one. Curious from Sweden, what is the song Mansions about? Is it a stalker? There's a, fl this is a flawed question because Mansions is not a song. Mansions is a band and a band that sings the song, STFU. Um, can't tell you what it's about. You decide what it's about. I just write it. It can mean different things for different people. John from Drexel Hill, what has been the hardest challenge you faced in your life so far? I don't know, like, I mean, uh, I don't really look at life as a challenge, even you know, it's things that you would consider a challenge are mostly fun, you know, you know, like, if you work hard enough. I remember when I was a freshman at Duke, uh, my friend Big Sean was still in Detroit, and I, I left Detroit to go to, to college, and um, I got in. I studied really hard for this math test and I got an F on it. And um, my friends at in, back in Detroit were all getting signed by Kanye West, and I thought that should have been me. I was well, I just you know kept making music, kept studying, and uh, stuck with it, man. Lori from West Bloomfield, do you make it back to Southfield often? Yeah, I do. I technically live in Southfield again. Vanessa from Holtzville. What inspired you to do ninja shows? Parentheses, come to Long Island. I uh, I was inspired to do ninja shows by Amanda Palmer. She invented the ninja show and uh, it seemed to align with my ethos at the time. And 
and they remind me uh, what I'm doing it for, you know? I don't do interviews like this. Well, let me start over. I don't do ninja shows so, I, so that people talk to me and I can do interviews. I do interviews so that I can do ninja shows and people will come. Madison from Chicago. What has been your favorite song that you've ever recorded? Nah, I don't have one. I've made, I don't know, probably thousands of songs in my life, so it's, it's tough to pick one. Sorry. Katie from Ashburn. What's your favorite thing about show this tour? There's something grammatically wrong with this question, but I'm, I think I know what you're asking. Uh, I think my favorite thing about the shows this tour is um, playing with my band. Uh, they're incredible, and um, we rock it, man. That's all the questions, Jeffrey. And uh, this has been Mike Posner's most requested live. Ask me anything. I hope you feel informed.